Good day once again. Today is July 22nd, and our scripture reading is Isaiah 28 through chapter 30. I've entitled this devotion, Polluted Priests Preach Powerless Platitudes. Our scripture reading is Isaiah 28, verse 7 through 13. These also stagger because of wine and stumble under the influence of beer. Priests and prophets staggered because of beer and they're confused by wine. They stumble because of beer. They're muddled in their visions. They stumble in their judgments. Indeed, all their tables are covered with vomit. There's no place without stench. Who's he trying to teach? What's he trying to instruct? Infants just weaned from milk. Babes removed from the breast. For he says, law upon law after law, law after line, line upon line, line upon line, here little, there little. So he'll speak to this people with stammering speech in a foreign language. He said to them, this is a place of rest. Let the weary rest. This is a place of repose. But they would not listen. Then the word became to them, law after law, law after law, line after line, line after line, a little here and a little there. So they'll go stumbling backward to be broken, trapped, and captured. I don't like to study the scripture. It's just so boring. Those who teach the law are hard to listen to because they're dead. The day of Israel had grown darker because their priests and religious leaders were given to their own pleasures. Isaiah indict, uh, indicts the leaders because they're inflamed with wine and beer. Their binge drinking was clouding their minds so they could not speak clearly about the law of God. They were confused about truth and could not make any sound judgments. Isaiah goes so far as to indict them because of their drinking had covered their tables with vomit. Everywhere the priest spoke was filthy. Not so much in a literal filth, but because of their living for the pleasure of drink, they could not properly teach the law of God. Those who taught the law was specifically commanded by God to not drink any alcohol because it would cloud their judgment when they came to teaching the word of God to the people of God. That's found in Isaiah 44. God told his people that would find rest in his law. They'd find repose, but there they refused to listen. What happens when a people or a person refused to listen to the God's word? The law of God that was designed to bring them into relationship with God now becomes a book of rules and regulations they must follow in order to have a good life. Religion becomes one of drudgery and duty, duty, dullness. No joy, no life, only endless, endless following of rules and regulations. When you refuse to follow God as he reveals himself in scripture, you turn to rules and regulations to follow. And it becomes line upon line, law upon line, here, there, a little, there, a lot. It's just enough to put you to sleep and cause you to think the Christian faith isn't worth it. How's your following of Christ these days? Is it one of joyous communion with your father? Or is it a long list of do's and don'ts? Stop right now and draw close to God. Be still for a moment before him. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you to his throne. God, would you make your word come alive in my life once again? Help me to find joy in your presence as I meditate on your word. Amen.